We're stood in front of your latest investment, but before we get on to this, yep. you've got quite a few do-gods around your shop. So what is it about do-god? Um, they've always been good to us in the past. We've been with do-gods for 30 plus years. Had quite a few machines over the years. We get good service, they're down the road from us. Um, and it just makes sense, and you know. Plus the machine we, we required was in stock when we needed it. And that's why we, you know, one of the reasons why we went for it. So, the Dugard 1100. Yes. What sort of wait time did you have to wait for this? Are we talking weeks? Are we talking months? Uh, it was weeks. Um, I went down and saw it down in the showroom. Um, they had the guards off, so I could see what it was like underneath the guarding. Um, the price point was very good, um, with all the extras we got on it as well. And it was in and running within two weeks. So, talk me through some of the extras you got, because you, this machine's quite kitted out. Yeah, uh, so we've got, uh, we've got a Nick and Full facets on it, uh, and then we've got the Renishaw probing, which is, um, makes setting so much easier. <laughs> now, we spoke about the <laughs> yeah. Renishaw probing. What are some of the benefits to having that on a machine like this? Oh, just say, so getting the clock out and clocking stuff in, it just, just makes life so much easier. Well worth the investment. And I'm guessing it makes stuff a lot quicker as well, because you're not yes. stood Absolutely. there with your probe. Absolutely. Uh, we've got an app on my phone, just one word, one line of code, in, and just run that, and perfect, yeah. Now, I've got to ask, you know I mean? and it's going to be one of them questions, but, <laughs> but are you happy with it? Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, for the price point of the machine, for what it's doing, um, it was originally bought to replace another machine because we're having uh, reliability issues with it. Um, We've got the machine in, it's never stopped working since. Uh, and the, the work machine we have problems with has fixed itself. So. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say that, because <laughs> yeah. we spoke about this before, where you buy a new machine yeah. to replace one that won't work, and then that machine goes, well, no, 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 no. no. I'm staying, I'll work. Yeah, he's, sta he's staying, he's been here with us a long time. Uh, and it's increased our capacity now, so which is all good. You know, it's a winner, winner, really. Now, obviously we talked about it a little bit about price, but you got quite a lot of machine for what you paid. I think I got, yeah, a lot of machine for what we paid. So, what sort of work are you doing on it? Is it all just casting which we can see behind us? Uh, this machine's only done stainless at the moment, and it's pretty much what it's going to be doing. So it's cutting stainless all day long. And it just runs and runs and runs? Yeah, it runs and runs and runs. Um, we, we tend to put long cycle time jobs on there. Uh, that gives the, the, the operator to, you know, time to go and run other machines. And it's just, you know, we, we program it to be safe. It doesn't matter if it takes five minutes longer. As long as the other guy can go and run another machine, it's the opt times, you know, five minutes. Which is great because yeah. <laughs> that's the complete opposite of stories we hear day in, day out, where they're trying to make cycle times quicker. No. You're trying to make them safer. To make them safer, we make them longer. Uh, well, you know, have two parts on there, not one. Increase the cycle time. Then the guy can go and do something else. The part itself takes the same amount of time. So it just makes sense to do it that way around. So we, that our thinking is make it longer, not shorter. Well, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that <laughs> no, because it's, <laughs> it just makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it's, you know, jobs we're doing on it, we've run them enough times now to know how long tips last and so on. You, you program it in a way that it's, it's safe uh, and it literally just runs itself. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the programming because this has come with the Mitsubishi control. It so has. What's, what's that been like? Because it's actually got touch screen as well. It's got touch screen. Uh, it's uh, got some quirks to it, but to be honest, it's no different than Fanuc. You know, a couple of G codes slightly different, M codes maybe slightly different, but it's pretty much any, all the programs we're using on our other Dugard machines, which are all Fanuc, we can put in there and just change a couple of tweaks here and there and they run. No trouble at all. Oh, so it make, even, even having an extra system, it still makes life quite easy? It's quite easy. It's got um, quicker processing on it than the, the fans we have here. So you could run, you know, faster machining cycles if you wanted to. It handles it no problem. Now, last question. Got it. Because you've actually got some more options inside this machine. So you've got like um, through coolant and coolant collar. Yeah. Have they made any difference to how you've actually been able to machine stuff? Have you been able to make to make stuff run faster and bigger cuts, that sort of thing? Uh, we we use the through coolant a lot. 
because we don't have carbide drilling, we, we wouldn't buy a machine without through coolant nowadays. Um, so that's, that's useful. Um, the air blast is definitely useful because we do a lot of dry cutting on stainless. Um, so I think the machine as it is, with all the options we've got, I think it's a cracking deal.